New year, new challenge. How do you feel at the beginning of a season? Um, it's, it's always an exciting time. Um, everyone's obviously been working quite hard for the last, well, in the case of the wind tunnel, the last sort of seven or eight months, design office for the last four months, and it's, it's always good to see a, the project finally coming together. And it's, you know, over the last month or so, bits start arriving, and, you know, the, the, the mood in the factory changes and builds. It's, it's always quite an it's interesting and exciting time. What are the main changes in the team's organisation for this year? Um, we have Steve Clark's joined us, who takes over the head of race engineering, um, yes, which is a, a good help for me. It means I can concentrate more on, on the, the car programme as a whole. Uh, we have um, Hamashima starting with us. Um, it, again, there's a, a wealth of experience between Steve and Hamashima, which hopefully we can you know, share with our, our current knowledge and build and get a better understanding of how to maximise the performance of the tyres. Um, so the other changes, there's been a, a few changes in the, the way we run our simulation department, um, both of the, uh, if you like, the vehicle dynamics side of things and also the, the race strategy side of things. We've strengthened that, that department as well. In terms of rule interpretation, is it all clear just before the start of the season? Um, it's reasonably clear, I would say. I mean, there was obviously a few clarifications last week. Um, I think the, the engine mapping side of things is all, is all now clear. Um, I think the exhaust will have a small effect on, uh, on downforce. Um, people will be trying to maximise that. But again, it's all, I think it's as, as stable as it, as, it, as it can ever be, really. Do you expect a surprising solution from the opponents? Um, well, we, we obviously have tried to think of all the surprising solutions ourselves. Um, I think the, you know, the rules are relatively restricted. If there's a new F duct out there or a blown exhaust, those, you know, that type of design has been shut down. Obviously, there was a recent clarification on um, using brakes to change the, uh, the ride height of the car, uh, which came out last week. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it, it's, there's a lot of in it. And innovative people out there. Um, yeah, only time will tell. We'll see what they come up with. What are the next steps in terms of car development? Um, I think the the basic car is um, all issued and in, in manufacture. There's we're obviously working on upgrading the aero mainly. Um, there will be an update for the third test in the first race. And then, in reality, it's, it's just a constant aero development all through the year. If you have to describe the car in few words, how do you do it? Um, well, a lot of people said a lot of things. I mean, I think it's, it's quite a, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a step away from where we have been. It's, it's certainly taken a few more risks on, you know, the basic car layout and things like that. Um, I think all in all, you know, everyone's done a, done a, a good job. We now just need to sort of knuckle down and start pushing again for all the, all the um, upgrades for first race and, and through the year. Now that you've seen it completed for the first time, are you happy with it? Um, I don't think you're ever going to be completely happy. Um, you know, happy, I suppose, is you know, winning the first race, winning the championship. I mean, I think a, a lot of effort has gone in and it's always nice to see the, you know, the fruit of everyone's hard work over the last you know, six months. Um, you know, you're never happy until you've actually got a winning car and enough margin to um, make everyone's life easy. Which areas of development uh, do you think will be the most important in 2012? Um, the, oh, and, uh, there's everything that, you know, the, the biggest differentiator is aerodynamics still. Um, I think there's, you know, a lot less you can do now with engines affecting the aerodynamics. So, again, I think that the, you know, the, you know the, the engineering side of engine performance move back to actually producing horsepower and making it fuel efficient rather than the opposite that we have been doing. Um, yeah, I, I think it is just going to be a, a constant aerodynamic development all through the year, really. In terms of teamwork uh, uh, in general, where are the areas where uh, we have still room for improvement? Um, I think in terms of the team, the you know, you, pit stops, for example, I think you know, we were, um, I think, third quickest on average last year. Uh, we certainly know some areas 
where to improve. We're hoping that we can get our average pit stops down by maybe four tenths, if we're, if we're lucky, five tenths. So there's improvements there. I mean, our starts, again, were, were quite good. Uh, I think you know, we were at the, you know, on average, again, leading the whole grid in terms of start performance. But you, know, you can't be complacent. You've just got to try and make everything better. So you know, we're working on all the areas all through any area of performance we're working on.